Hello everybody, uh, it's me, Ham Lennon. Sorry I've not posted in a while. I, I'm going to be doing the basics on, um, well, Figura. Figura is a fun mod where you can do all types of stuff, like make models for like cool OCs you can make. Like this guy I made a while ago. His, his power is, um, just, well, color changing, but that's for a different time but today I'm going to be teaching you how to do walking animations uh, how to animate nicely for your models and what uh, what I typically use for making skins okay so first on the subject of well what uh, well uh, skin making uh, I preferably use a program called lunar eclipse skin creator it has a bunch of stuff you can use, like eyes, mouth. This thing just lets you make anything you want. So if you want to make a skin, I would suggest them. But that's not what we're here today. Link in the description for this, obviously. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make buttons by showing you my previous work of model. So yeah. Noah Blackwell is a character for a show I'm making, don't mind it. Today I'm going to be going over walking, um, idle, and buttons. Well, like toggles. If I go to Fingy, my personal model, I typically only use for some things. If we scroll down to the button section, where I keep all my buttons, I have two pages, you don't really need to unless you have too many keybinds, which I have too many. So I'm going to be saying this, if you want a page, do this and, well, this. I forgot what this does, so it's probably important, don't worry. What you first want to do is make a function. A function is one of these things, it toggles the visibility of an object. So, well, well, it does more than that, obviously, but. Dot, uh, cheese. This is going to be deleted after the video because this will break my model because it's not going to be doing anything, really. So, uh, for your model, if we go into block bench, which I will be opening now. I'll just open my model. It's a really cool model. I'm really happy with how it came out. This is the model. Um, when you create a model using this, I would suggest going in here. Uh, I'm not going to be creating this, obviously, so that I don't have to bother with deleting it later. You just select model, select all of these pivots so you can make custom pivots and stuff. Hi uh, you can hide the villa uh, vanilla thing here, but... Um, oh, where is it? Okay, well that doesn't matter, but it should say a uh, hide vanilla model w or player. So add that if you can find it, but because I cannot, I cannot right now for some reason. Oh wait, you have to include include that and then hide vanilla player model to not have your original skin combining with the one you're using in this, because I do not typically do that. For if you want to toggle model dot model dot root root uh, is made whenever you make something dot uh, I don't know what your character would have so I'm just gonna do like cheese as the example cheese dot um example make sure to have the capitals if you forget the capitals your model will break trust me I've I've done it too many times And boom, this is a function. Pings will just ping the, mo oh, the model part you're trying to toggle. I'm going to delete this now because it's no longer important to the explain explaining. For a button, uh, this is very important for you to know this because button is what lets you toggle things. You have to include page because whatever you name your page is where it will show up. I will quickly show you. Um, for if you are doing that, 
this is a page, right? You have to have one if you want toggles. Uh, by the way, this is for the page thing. Um, if you want like cool stuff to toggle off and on things, that this is what you do. If you do not include this, you cannot like have buttons. So page. I'm pretty new to the software too, but I'm just here to show you guys what to do so that, well, you know, you don't screw it up, because I'm here to help. You need three of these for both title, I'll tell you what title does. Title allows you to see what your actual action, because if you didn't have titles, well, all of this would be blank and probably non-functional. I have not tested that very, but yeah, this is important if you want to actually know what half your stuff does without it breaking. Title, uh, cheese. Why not? Uh, the item is not important. You can have one, you don't have to have one, as far as I'm aware. Uh, the item just allows you to, using a... I don't care if I spelled that right, this is just an example. Um, obsidian would show the block obsidian, so it will let you know what it does, kind of. So you don't mix everything up. I would suggest having an item, but it's really up to you on what you do, because I'm not here to tell you to add one. It's just your preferences, I guess. Inside of on toggle. You know why it's called function? Because it's fun. I'm just kidding, it's not. <laughs> um, you want to delete this. Uh, no, wait, you do not. You do not want to delete that. <laughs> Bad advice. Um, states, just, well, it's what you do for a button. You just have it. Don't delete it. You can keep it if you want. I'm going to not be giving this. Well, of course, I'm going to be giving it a ping so I can show you. The pings are very useful. They're the things I actually ask. Imagine talk talking hologram. If I had a button to toggle it, I would need to have a ping called talking hologram or something. It doesn't actually have to. As long as you actually include the model part inside of it, it will do it. So make sure of that if you actually want a functional model, I mean. Back to this. Uh, cheese, I deleted the old cheese pin because it was useless. This is just an example, so so if I've forgotten anything that you guys actually want me to talk about, just ask, I'll, um, I'll see what I can do. Uh, you do want to add a state to this. Um, and, yeah, I don't know why that isn't working, but I'm pretty sure I can test this without breaking my model. Yeah, I broke my model. Okay, but yeah, this is how you make one. I will be putting the code in the co uh, the description so that you can just paste it. But if you actually want to learn, I would suggest just writing it over and over again because eventually you will learn. This will toggle the body part. You have to, and I need to specify this now, name your thing and just don't call it bone one, bone two, bone three. Because that would be stupid. That would be really stupid. Uh, because you'll forget where everything is. Um, I will be putting block bench in the description too because it's quite useful for modeling. I think it's the only thing for modeling. Yeah, uh, if you want to do sounds, I will not be discussing that in this video, probably next time. And for animations, we'll go into Noah Blackwell uh, for show you. For an idle animation, you, it doesn't need a velocity. It, well, it has to have velocity. You just can't be moving. Just, just I'll hold this here for a second so you can actually um, see that. And this. This is important too if you want a walking animation. Well, time to go into the actual animations and how to make them nice. Uh, walk. I am really good at animations. Well, not really good, but you can you kind of know why based on my channel. Uh, if you're wondering why they're not dots, why they're not stars, I mean, you want to select all of them because I can turn it to linear. It doesn't look as good. Well, the actually isn't no difference, but if I did step, 
you want to do like a cartoony character, like I don't know Mario, uh, you would do this type of walking. But smooth is for people who do not want to do that. So yeah, um, the bumping thing don't typically work, so I don't usually do them. Uh, I just did it in this so I could show you guys it off. Solar is for a thing I made. Um, yeah. Uh, I will be showing how to do two animations in one just quickly. Uh, if we go to solar. Uh, I've turned it all off so I don't have to deal with the annoyingness of it. This is what you want to do for an animation type thing. I don't... Um, you have to make a ping. You have to make a function uh, sh with the model, obviously, like this. But um, if you just want to ping an animation, uh, I don't remember really how to, but this is just the basis. If you know a little bit of Lua, uh, I feel like you'll get what I mean by this. Um, yeah. If you wonder what this is, it's very uh, it's very useful. It's very goddamn useful. For uh, do you, if you know what Bedrock Edition is, I'm going to have to delete that button. I'll just quickly delete that and I'll, I'll explain. Wait. Perfect. Um, so, if you like Bedrock Edition, you'll know about this thing in the top corner whenever you run. Or something. Uh, it's quite useful for most things, but I don't think mo many people care about this part. But if you want to do this, you have to have a function events render and it put any render sh stuff in here. I'll go I'll be going over glowing in the next episode. But well, that's gonna be the end of today's video, guys. Because well, honestly, I don't f I don't know what really to show you next. Uh, code in the description. Everything is gonna be in the description. I hope you know. So.